guys, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing great on this marvelous Monday. Um, I'm doing good. Um, I haven't seen you guys in almost about a month. I haven't vlogged in about a month. Um, I've been just going through a lot. I've really been going through a lot. Um, dealing with my dad's passing um, the first year, it... I was really dreading it. I was really dreading that day. I wish I just had a remote so I can just fast forward it so I did not have to deal with it, you know. But thank God, um, I'm a mem members of uh, some of these Facebook group groups that they have with the most beautiful people in the world that, you know, reach out and say the most loveliest things that touch my heart just to see them love have love for my dad like that you know people just like i can't deal with it you know there's no closure no i definitely know what you feel there's no closure but i know he doesn't want us to mourn over him like that i i had to um the day before his anniversary i had put out that i'm not going to um mourn him i'm going to celebrate him you know so i listened to upbeat music that he had um I did not want to sit up here and sulk because I know that's not what he had wanted. You know, he's like, don't cry for me. You know, celebrate me. Cry, don't cry for me. Just celebrate me. You know, if you cry, cry for love. Never cry for pain. And um, sometimes that becomes hard. So, um, this video, I forgot to tell you guys while I'm getting all into, you know, all these different things. Um, I finally had my Twin Flame reunion. <laughs> I finally had it. Um, so it, it has brought me, you know, I'm just, I, I, I feel full of life now. Um, even though it has little, you know, side effects, the experience was very crazy. It was like some 5D stuff. Um, it was like me and my dad were talking. I was meditating and I was just like, two, two, two. I love you too, daddy. Um, me and my dad were talking. And um, I forgot what, really what the conversation was about, but we were just, you know, a lot of things happen like this, blah, blah, blah. We were just laughing and joking or whatever. And um, and he says, it's time. And I'm like, time for what? <laughs> you know, I was just like, the warning. He was just like, this is the warning. I said, it's time. And I just feel this. My my head felt like it was about, it, it, it just felt like this crack. It was coming coming along or whatever and um it was just like wow um this pressure went down on my body and it just felt like somebody was getting inside of my body like a soup so i'm just like ah what is this why does this feel this way <laughs> it's just like i'm sorry baby i'm sorry but it has to happen i'm like oh, why? <laughs> you know so it was just very weird like I don't know, it's very, it's, I don't know, it just felt like this mass that was just coming on top of my body and felt like a lot of weight. And it was a beautiful thing, but it wasn't what I expected it was going to be. <laughs> really, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that, you know, because I'm just like, is it going to hurt? You know, wait a minute, you know, like you're trying to, you know, uh, uh, prepare yourself for a shot or you know a piercing or something like that and it was just like now like all the things I've been festering like things um that I've had it's, it, uh, experienced along the way they're starting to come up especially when it comes to my dad or things that I need to change or whatever and for 21 there he goes again um Things that I needed to change and everything like that. It was very good enlightenment or whatever um, that I needed to go through to make me to be a better person. Um, I've had chats with different people that know my story and they're just like, wow, you're a miracle. <laughs> you know, who can go through something like this? You know, because I was telling my story and I'm like, yeah, right. And I'm serious. I'm just like, what what kind of attention did um, 
from coming, you know, coming from this, I end up looking crazy if it wasn't the truth. You know, um, I, I'm able to pull out dates and stuff like that and let people know things. And I'm just like, um, it's time for me to just, you know, tell my story to people, you know, let people know, you know, you're going to go through stuff. I'm living proof that, you know, you, things can be hard hard. I was separated from my family for almost going on 40 years. In two weeks, May 19th, my birthday, um, I will be 40. And uh, this secret has been going on for years, you know, even though things has presented itself to us where me and my dad have crossed paths a few times, you know, um, it's been a learning experience. You know, I, it was just like, it was two or three years ago I had a uh, premonition and I was thinking it was about my adopted dad that, you know, my adopted dad was going to have a heart attack and die. And I mean, I used to just scream, waking up out of nightmare saying, oh, God, please don't let my daddy die. Please don't let my daddy die. So I would call him and I was just like, are you OK? Is there something that you're not telling me? You know, and he was just like, baby, I'm fine. You know, stop worrying yourself. You're going to make yourself sick. And I'm just like, no, I keep on having these dreams for a reason. I'm just trying to make sure you're OK. But it was my dad. It wasn't just the one that it was the wrong one. So uh, when I talked to my ex about it, I said, you remember those times I used to have these nightmares and stuff like that, just waking up in sweats and screaming and saying, my dad's about to die, my dad's about to die. And he was like, yeah, but I said, you know what, that wasn't the right one. You know, and he was just like, wow, I can't, you know, I remember that. And I'm just like, you know, I had to get confirmation just to make sure, you know, you remember this too? And then it was just like, yes, yeah, so it's just like, sis my awakening and ascension and everything my senses have gotten so heightened to where sometimes I can't even talk to people because my frequency is just so you know it's just so sensitive right now um but it's for a good thing it, it's just like people that I meet even though sometimes they may work on nerves <laughs> and uh I get frustrated it people come into your life for a reason you know, and um, you learn things from them. You know, don't ever wish like, oh, I wish I never met this person or I can't stand this person. You know, they might do some jacked up stuff, but you have to think about the lessons that you learn from them. Just like my family, I look, you know, and I used to have so much hatred against them and people are just like, oh my God, you are strong because, you know, if it, it could have been me, I would have did something. I said, trust me, I don't put myself in situations like I don't buy firearms and stuff like that. No. <laughs> I don't do I don't do stuff like that. I don't do stuff like that. But I don't put myself in positions to um to where I wanna hurt somebody because I, I just feel like that's gonna come back on me. I d I don't need to have that hurt, you know, um hurting somebody just you know, because it's not gonna bring my dad back. So why should I hurt this person? Why should I take a life, you know, because of something that you, you know, you have hindered me from. You have hindered me from my family. You know, I was just like my dad. And, you know, you tried to, you know, mask that a lot. You know, I was like in the shadow. I was always in the shadow for things. And it's my time to shine. You know, if I can sit up here and help somebody get through some stuff, you know, like, man, Rosalind went through some stuff. And, you know, she's, you know, you want to go through your crime you know, your crying moments, you're going to go through your angry, like, you know, why do I have to constantly go through this? Why do I always get the short end of the stick? You have to stand up for yourself. You got to say, I'm not going to go through this anymore. I'm going to change myself and I'm going to change myself for the better. And that's what I'm doing. And, you know, I had to let go of a lot of things that, you know, they no longer pertain to my life anymore. Um, that was the old me. That was the old Roslyn. Um, I had to learn that, you know, being with a person, you know, uh, to love, you have to learn to love yourself first. You know, you can't ask somebody, you know, what can you bring to the table if you don't know what you want. If you don't know what you want in life from a person or how you want to be treated, you can't expect somebody to love you if you don't learn how to love yourself first. And I had to learn, my, I had to learn that. 
you know, you have to learn how to love yourself first. You don't need to be with anybody to complete yourself. You know, you're saying, oh, um, if I get this job, I'll be happy. Or if I get this amount of money, I'll be happy. You have to be happy from within. Within, it comes out. And then that, you know, when you get all the other things, that's a bonus. That's a blessing when you get stuff like that. So I know I have to heal before I come to this ending. <clears throat> this ending. And I know it feels so good. To be able to heal from all the past hurting pain that I went through. Um, uh, going through this experience is just like with the reunion, you know, feeling all that pressure coming down on me. And it's just like you feel this, um, I guess it was in like the five dimension, 5D, uh, where it was like all this massive pressure. And it was like, I was like high-pitched squealing like I hear my dad saying sorry but it's time I'm like it's time for what wait a minute wait a minute you gonna warn me first he's like baby I'm sorry it has to happen it has to happen now and it was like 428 uh you know April 28th um and it was around I think it was around 421 his anniversary date so um it was just crazy it you know it, it just felt like the world was spinning but it just felt like essence coming in and it like sat in me like a soup like i was an actual soup and now it's like my my third eye chakra stays open a lot sometimes you know, i can be able to maintain it sometimes it is just a little bit little wonky <laughs> so it just it it does what it wants to sometimes but this heart chakra is just like I feel a light coming out of it and it makes me feel like I am complete um but I'm still dealing with a little bit of past issues that I am trying to resolve um but it makes me feel like a, a better person I feel so I feel very complete and happy you know, but then I have some of these symptoms, like sometimes at night, where it feels like my head is about to explode, and I'm, I'm just like, you know, uh, if I try to talk on the phone, or if I try to talk to people, it, it, it's just like, um, no, I have to shut myself off, and it's basically, I guess it's like my body telling me, you know what, you need to tend to yourself and heal, you know, um, because it, it this situation has really, it felt like it messed with my health, especially mental, um, because you would think this would have literally probably sent me to the insane asylum, because <laughs> it really, I, I had went start raving mad when I found out the whole truth, like, you have talked to your dad before, your greatest fear is that, that you have talked to your dad or seen your dad or something and um, you didn't know who it was but you always knew you you had this connection with Prince Gardner Snell City you never knew why it's like um like I would have dreams when I was little and the time I was having the dreams this is when he still had his afro and it's like the for you and the dirty mind and the uh, controversy stage like, this is before the Purple Rain stage and before the love sexy or whatever. But when I would see him in my dreams, it's like we would always play. And he would, I loved playing in his hair because he had this beautiful, thick, long, you know, soft hair. And I'm like, you know, Daddy, can I play in your hair? You know, you're just so pretty. <laughs> you know, and he would let me put these, like... One time he let me put like one plaid on the side of his hair and I put like a little ribbon or a bow or something. He's like, wait a minute, what are you doing? He's like, wait a minute, this is kind of cute. Hold on, wait a minute. And then I started putting these little pigtails or plaits and stuff in his hair <clears throat> in some of my other dreams. And he was just like, wait a minute, you got me looking like a girl. But then he was just like looking in the mirror and he's like, um, they're not ready for that yet. <laughs> He's like, they're not ready for that yet. So he's like, I might use that, you know, years down the line. And it's like, I've seen pictures with his hairdresser, Kim, putting these plaques in his hair. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, I I did that in his hair. But that was like, you know, this is when I was like six, seven years old when I had dreams like this. And then he did this back in the 90s. And this is back in the, you know, 
80s. So I'm just like, wow, you know, how um, we would, he would tell me he would dream about me a lot and we, we would have these, um, these dreams where we talked to each other all the time and it was just really crazy. But it makes you open up and know that there's far more things in life than just us. Um, going through this life experience has brought me so many blessings. You know, when people can tell me I'm a miracle, they, you you know, you should have, you know, lost your mind. I was just like, you know, I did lose my mind, but I had to go back and find it. <laughs> I had to go back and find it. And... You know, going through this tragedy has brought so many blessings, you know, even though I just feel like the way, you know, I tell people, you know, they feel bad or they say, you know, this is sad, don't make me cry, you know, that you weren't able to see your dad. I say, I just put it this way. The love we have for each other was so intense. I don't think, you know, Earth would have been ready to deal with something like that. It probably would have made a ripple effect or something like that. So I'm just... There's a reason for things that has to happen because we're like one of a kind. I feel like me and him are like one of a kind to each other because we act so much alike. Except it's like he's the male version of the female version of it. So it's just really crazy because I always wanted to help humanity. You know, if I could be able, I always told my family, you know, if I ever had money, I would give it you know, give some to, you know, these charities like, you know, abused victims, you know, hungry children, the homeless, you know, uh, Black Lives Matter, stuff like that. I always, you know, always want to contribute to stuff like that, you know, have a cause, start my, start my own charity, or whatever. Um, and just for the planet to be better because it's just so chaotic. I can't even watch the news without, you know, feeling like I'm about to have a fit. Because it's just so many things that's going on in the world that, I mean, like, wow, we're, you know, we're like going through self-destruction right now. So, I, I, it, it, it just becomes too much where I can't even watch the news, you know. Um, it's going on probably like four months that I haven't watched TV. You know, I have like shows that I really love and I just don't even watch them anymore. And it's just, I don't know. I just don't have time for the lies. What is it? Tell lies on your vision. Television. So, you know, when you guys are going through stuff, I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I mean, you can look at some of the videos that I've put out where you, you guys have seen me at my weakest point. Where, you know, um, where I've grieved. I felt angry. I feel like, you know, why is you know, God turns his back on me and he actually has it because it's just knowing things that I had to change in my life. If you want these bigger and better things, you have to be able to, how bad do you want them? You know, because anything that's great is not going to be easy. It's not. <laughs> it is not. You have to be prepared for things like this. And, um, I had to prepare myself for it. I really did. And, um, even though I'm not there right now, I can visualize it happening. I can visualize my visualize myself being in union with my family, with my whole family now since I'm in union with my dad, and um, I'm starting to, uh, like I told you, dealing with all these old emotions that I thought I was done with. Oh, dude, <laughs> they coming back. That past vomit is coming to fester up. So I had to deal with that, and you know. Take it one day at a time because things are not going to be easy. You can't just let go of things like that. But, you know, it's better for you, too, because if not, you're going to be detrimental to yourself. And it's, it's going to be self-destructive. And I can't be like that anymore. I've been like that my, most, basically my whole life. And I know I can't be like that anymore. So, guys, I had just came by to let you know, hey, I'm still living. I'm good. Um, I'm just going through things, and I had to sort a lot of things. A lot of things out so um you guys stay good to each other you know when you're going through things just let yourself know that you're not going to go through it all the time everything's temporary you go through a full life circle to the point where you have to change 
the way of your way of thinking, your your uh, frame of mind. You have to be able to think positive about yourself. Like things will change, things will get better. Um, just know that they will. You know, you're not gonna always. I pray for everybody. You know, people, especially people that you know are going through hard times. You're going through challenges on an everyday basis. Jobs, you know, loved ones passing. Um, you know, children. Uh, you know, it could be finances or homes or whatever. You know, people are, you know, trying to figure out how am I going to pay my next bill? You know, how am I going to come up, you know, trying to make a dollar out of 50, you know, 15 cents? Things are going to get better for you. You have to think positive. Reach out there. Go. You know, you can't do it by just sitting on your bed and not doing anything. You have to go out there and do it. You have to go ahead and, you know, strive for that goal that you want to do. And things will get better for you. So I will talk to you later. Love you guys. Peace and be wild. Oh yeah, like and subscribe, okay? Share and email me. Come talk to me. I love you guys. Bye. Yeah.